Hi, my name's Glenn. I'm here to do, to do a tutorial for Gordon Lightfoot's 1968 song, Pussy Willow's Cattails. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's a song in 3-4 time. Uh, I, I think I was attracted to it because of this opening chord, which is an E minor with an added ninth, or E minor add nine. In an E minor chord, the, uh, uh, the ninth note is an F sharp. You can play it on the high E string, or you can play it on the D string. Here's uh, D, E, F is up there. So a normal E minor is here, and you can add the ninth right there, and it gives this very eerie sound. Okay, kind of cool. Now. For the 3-4 pattern that Gordon Lightfoot uses, he's kind of going like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And to make the uh, add nine, he's adding the F sharp on the high E string. That sounds pretty good, and if you want to do it that way, I think that's great. Uh, I kind of like to smooth the song out so that over the years I've kind of found that I like to play three, four songs with almost a six, eight kind of pick. Six, eights meaning six beats to a measure instead of three, and each eighth note gets a beat. And three, four, and six, eight are so close in my mind that many times you can't tell the difference. So what I, what I play on my YouTube performance on my channel, which is linked uh, uh, on my uh, introductory notes for this tutorial, uh, is I do it like this. So it, 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 it works for three, four time. If I do that slowly, with my thumb or thumb pick, I'm first hitting the first two notes with that, the low E string and then the D string. And then I use my index finger for the next three notes, starting on the G string and coming up towards me, G, D, and A. And then for the sixth note, uh, I'm using my middle finger and plucking the B string. So. Or at tempo. That pattern works for you, or works for me anyway, uh, through all the chords of this song. Uh, so speaking of chords and lyrics, you go to Gordon Lightfoot's website. If you take your computer, your tablet, your phone, uh, Google Gordon Lightfoot chords and lyrics, and it, your first choice will usually be his website. It has a CA for Canada and, uh, in, the, in the address and uh, there's a slash lyrics. And um, so you go to an alphabetical listing and you, under the P's, of course, you find Pussy Willow's Cattails. It's a good place to find all of his songs. Um, so he gives you the chords and lyrics there. It's a four verse song, starts with uh, spring, second verse is summer, then comes fall, then comes winter. Uh, I have to have little tricks like that to help me remember what am I supposed to sing, because I'm very bad at forgetting lyrics. So, uh, basically the chords are E minor, Pussy Willows, D, Cattails, C, Soft Winds, and E minor, Roses. E minor again, repeat, Rain Pools in the D, Woodland, C, Water to My Knees. Then we do a little... 
little raw, a little lick there, and you shift to a different different chord progression, A minor, A minor shivering, D quivering, the warm breath of spring. So G to an F sharp in the e, on the E string, uh, then a full E chord, and I like to add an E sus suspended fourth. bit of a, of a retard there and then you do that little transition again uh, to get you from an E to an E minor pussy willows D cattails C soft winds and roses E minor now then for I, I have a little interlude thing that I made up and that I use on my performance that goes E minor to an A chord for a whole measure three beats, and then to an A minor chord for three beats, and back to E minor. Now what I actually do is I go E minor to A, so I'm lifting up my index finger so I'm playing an A minor chord for a very short period, of and then playing an A suspended second. For the opening, it's like, whoopsie, like that. You don't just strum all six strings immediately, you do it in steps. Emphasize that uh, F sharp, the add nine in the chord. And then he has a cello come in. Do, do. sing just to help you figure out how you're supposed to play this stuff with while you're singing I'm not warmed up so I hope I don't sound too bad <laughs> hope you'll forgive me here we go pussy willows cattails soft winds and roses rain pools in the woodland water to my knees shivering quivering warm breath of spring Pussy willows, cattails Soft winds and roses Okay, now those little licks Going from an E minor to an A minor in the beginning of the, in the middle of the verse. So you're playing an E minor and, and on the A string you're holding onto a B note right there. So with your thumb or your thumb pick, you hit that hammer on to make a C with your little finger, and then pull back off, and then go hit the A as part of the A minor chord. Okay? It helps when you do the pull off to pull a little sideways on the string to get a little more volume out of it. And when you come back later and you're in the, uh, in the verse and you hit that full E chord, the E suspended fourth and then the E, and you got to go to an E minor, you go. So you're going you, you, the same kind of thing. You're holding an E. But now you hit the low E string to, to play the E minor. And you just lift up your index finger to go from the major to, to the minor, right? Okay, um, the ending. He's, uh, he hits that E minor with the add nine chord. He, so he hits, strums about the, the uh, lower three or four strings there in the chord and so, sort of thumps on the E string. And when we play those harmonics, 12th fret harmonics. Now with the capo on capo three, that's where Gordon Lightfoot plays it and sings it. To hit a 12th fret harmonic, I can't do it on the 12th fret. So I gotta come up three half steps, which is an approximation of where I should be. 
I just lightly touch the string, hit it with my right hand, and then let go of it with my left finger. Okay? It sort of forces the string into a second mode of vibration where the center of the string between the bridge and where the capo is holding the strings down is right about there. And it rings. And then to hit the two high strings, I'm hitting them together, the B string and the G E string. I'm touching these just very lightly and then lifting my finger off. It, it takes practice if you're not used to doing these harmonics, but they always sound cool. Kind of makes the, you know, harp-like chimes. One other thing, at the intro, uh, Gordon Lightfoot uses a cello. So you could, instead of doing what I'm doing, of going to the A and the A minor, and back to the E minor, or with the added nine, you could, you could approximate the sound of that cello, like this. So I'll stop making noise with my mouth and let you just hear it on the guitar, okay? So I don't do that on my performance, but it's you sure could. Uh, I'm going up, uh, oh, taking the um, A string, playing a B note for the E minor, and sliding up to a, a D, because here's the open D. And so you can see that is really a D. Come back down to a C sharp, and, and then, you know, your uh, ring finger's right in the right place to play the F sharp note from the add nine. Play all those right there and play a C major 7 go back to the E minor add 9 so I'm going to end this so I don't use up too much of your time thank you for listening I, I hope this uh, helps you a little bit thanks <laughs>